and further for his outstanding service to African sporting endeavors, he is to be awarded the Jungle Medal of Honor. Acting Guardsman First Class Hamlet, three paces forward. The medal will be presented by Coach Winner. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew you were an old softy, General. <laughs> Hamlet Rhino Warthog, it is my pleasure to present to you the symbol of His Majesty's grace and favor, the African Star. Wear it with pride, Hamlet, and congratulations. Well done. You're very young to have received such an honor. Be proud and stand tall. Africa's proud of you. I could never have done it without you, Coat. I'd say a celebration was in order. Boy! <laughs> Dad! <laughs> it's Italy versus England in our first game here today, folks. Two great teams guaranteeing a great match. The players are already in the field, and here are the starting formations. First for Italy, the Sicilian goalie, Trapani Trapani. Number two, the popular Shaggy. Number three, the fretful Porpentine. Number four, the left defender, Sammy the Shammy. Yeah, <laughs> Sammy will make them into macaroni. Yeah. The sweeper, K. Pauli. <laughs> Okay, we'll make them into macaroni. Yeah. Number seven, the Kenny Cavi Canham. A great finder of pigs lost in the swamp, the Bog Hong Dog. The Lynx, known by his affectionate nickname, Sausages, and Chirino, their matchless striker. The players representing England are out of the field now, acknowledging the crowd's plaudits. We've seen these great players several times throughout the tournament, folks, so there's obviously no further need for individual introductions. They're like old friends by now. Let's just watch them prance and paper. The starting whistle is only seconds away. Players are visibly disappointed, but we all know that. 
the sturdy courage they're famous for. And there's no doubt they'll just grit their teeth and try harder. In the meantime, here comes the Italian sweeper, Kay Pale, coming down the left wing with a quick pass to a teammate in midfield. <laughs> Africa 2 against Spain. See you then. The players and all of us here in the stadium are just waiting for the kickoff whistle. And here it comes! Watch out, Blinder!
Club was looking for personal glory and not for a way to help the team. We need fewer stars and more teamwork. Get it? That's a valuable lesson, kids. I hope you all take it to heart. Okay? Uh -huh. oh. hey! Poor old Country Club. I feel sorry for him. He's going to be the tournament goat. Well, children, what's the score? Africa lost one nil. I'm sorry to say, ma'am. I can't believe it, our wonderful team. <laughs> no, not our team. Africa too. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's hey. better. <laughs> our team is in the semifinals. And it won't end there, ma'am. No, sorry. Ah, oh, tell me, which team will we be playing against next? Well, aside from us, the teams that have reached the semifinals are Italy, Spain, they just won their game with England, and either France or Australia. Whichever wins the last quarterfinal game tomorrow. To whom will we meet? Well, there's no way of knowing, ma'am. It's the luck of the draw, but they'll all be hard to beat. Enough of this! A soccer team is judged by only one thing. It's actions! <laughs> you have a point there, Chi-Chi. It's what the team does on the field that counts. Right on! We have some top games ahead. Us, and we better start training for them. Yes, you're right, Chi Chi. And we couldn't ask for a better slave driver than you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see your spirits are up. You know, kids, that's very important. I'm proud of you, and everyone in the jungle will be too. You go that right. <laughs> we must prepare for the next game, my little cabbages. And on the way, let's get into the mood by singing. All together now! Long live the moon! Long live the sun! Long live the jungle where life is fun! Long live the fog! Long live the rain! Long live life at a pace that's safe! Friends are yours! Brothers all! Ready to answer the jungle's call! Life is good! Life is free! Life we owe to all! <laughs> Terribly sorry, old boy. Hope I didn't hurt you. Just keep going, kid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Move it, Fox. You're loitering with oh. intent. <laughs> That's a coy way of putting it, Chi Chi. You must be some kind of mind reader. Your mind is like an open book. Now get moving. You need to train more than most. <laughs> Well, we've come this far, and I have no intention of giving up now. And I don't think you do, either. Uh, Coach, I have a headache. Could I have, like, ten minutes to go lie down? 
Sure, we need you feeling your best, Fox. Go ahead. Hey? <laughs> Ten minutes is all, though. We have a world championship to win. Thanks, Coach. Great. Uh, I have a headache too, Coach. Hamlet! <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think you're going? For a run with the others. Back in line or you'll just be Ham. Oh, but... Hey, Chi-Chi, you don't have to be that tough on the poor kid, do you? He was only going to be gone a couple of minutes. It's not the few minutes I was objecting to. The company he wanted to join is a bad influence. What do you mean by that? Fox is a great striker, and besides, he keeps an eye on the kids. His kind of eye is bloodshot and roving. My players have to be perfection, both physically and mentally. You've done a great job with him, Chi-Chi. Oh. Eh, that's interesting, folks. Eh, Chi-Chi, Winner says that the team is in perfect shape in every way. Anything to add to that? We have a group of fine, young, world-class players, and there's no limits to what they can do once they set their minds to it. How about that, folks? The assistant trainer of Africa One has almost come right out and said he expects to win the world championship. Let's go see if Coach Winner agrees. Anything to add, Coach? Well, I share Chi-Chi's enthusiasm and optimism. Well, folks, there you have it, straight from the horse's mouth. What amounts to an out-and-out -out prediction of victory in this World Cup Soccer Championship. Now, back to you, Vin. Thanks to Peter Abbott for a great interview down in the Africa One training quarters. We hope for their sake that the self-confidence evinced by their coach and trainer isn't merely wishful thinking. But from what we've seen so far, they are most certainly a side to be reckoned with. Their jungle spirit will make them tough for any team to beat, even the greatest. <laughs> I am concerned that Winner's remarks to the press were tempting oh. fate too much. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Professor. It's three-game tactics. They all do it, you know. Uh, oh, sure. I know what that is. Trying to scare the other team. I still say it's unconscionable. I hope you won't repeat that in front of the children, Professor. Do you understand him? What? Certainly. Now, what's the game? <coughs> Welcome to Suckerville Stadium for the last of the quarterfinals, uh, France versus Australia. Players have been introduced and they're just doing a little warming up and stretching while waiting for the referee to blow his whistle and start the game. Winner of this match will join the select group of Africa 1, Italy and Spain for the semifinals, which are bound to be the most exciting games yet. I think a shot of the French team would not be out of order, Cameron, thank you. There we go, just waiting for the starting whistle as you can see. And here it comes now! Coach, if we draw France, we'd better double mark that number eight of theirs. Absolutely. Good. By the way, where's Chi-Chi? Looking around for the kids who didn't make it to the game. 
Hmm, I don't like the sound of that. I know she's a bit of a worrywart, but where the kids are concerned, it never pays to relax your supervision. It's all right, Simba. They're good kids. They'll be okay. And that wraps up the quarterfinals. The four semifinalists are Italy, France, Spain, and Africa One. The drawings for the matchups in the semifinals will be held tonight at 9 at Federation Headquarters. All four teams will be present. Their coaches, various dignitaries, and of course, the press.